And liftoff of Artemis 1. After 25 days, NASA's Artemis 1 rocket successfully splashed back to Earth Sunday afternoon off the coast of Mexico's Baja California Peninsula. Splashdown. And it just so happens that it coincided with the 50th anniversary of Apollo 17 moon landing. Hey, Houston, the Challenger has landed. Marking the last time NASA astronauts were there. They even took these pictures. This is the end of this particular mission, a test run to determine if the spacecraft could withstand slamming back into the atmosphere at 25,000 miles an hour and withstanding 5,000 degree temperatures. There were no humans on board, but there were test dummies equipped to collect data and a Snoopy doll. Artemis didn't bob too long around in the Pacific Ocean before crews worked together to load it onto a cargo ship. NASA's crews behind the scenes watching every moment intently. The spacecraft per performed so well that we were able to start looking ahead at, at Artemis II and, and thinking through how else can we push the boundaries on this flight? What else can we learn? Where are there constraints that we can push on? Where are there opportunities for us to, to, to improve on our products for the next flight? And this mission clearing the way for the next flight to infinity and beyond, scheduled for 2024. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.